援一天。呃，各位尊敬的通信者，今天是二零一二年啊，呃，二零二一年十二月十四日。呃，我们又荣幸的邀请到了圣巴蒂维纳维纳斯纳斯纳斯纳拉给我们讲解今天的大国家瓦唐邦早课，敬请聆听哈瑞克什纳。Om Ajnana Timurandasya Gyananjana Shalakaya Chaksuran Militanyena Tasmai Shri Gurave Namaha Nama Om Vishnu Padaya Krishna Prishtaya Bhutale Shri Mati Bhakti Vedanta Swaminiti Namine Namaste Sarasati Devi Kauravani Pracharine Nirvisesha Shanyavadi Paschacha Deshatarine Vanchakaupata Rupyascha Kripa Sindhu Vaihevacha Patitanam Pavan Ebyo Vaishnavibyo Namo Namaha Jai Shri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda Shri Advaita Gadadha Shri Vasadigor Bhaktavinda Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare Hare So because today is very auspicious day, the day in which Lord Krishna spoke Bhagavad Gita. So we will speak on the glories of the Bhagavad Gita today. So the Bhagavad Gita, of course, is part of the Mahabharata, which is the epic about the history of India 5,000 years ago. Mahabharata is a very voluminous text. There are many, many verses. And a lot of it is Grandfather Bhishma instructing Maharaj Yudhisthira. Grandfather Bhishma is on the bed of arrows and he's giving instructions to Yudhisthira how to rule, how to rule the planet. But the most, the most uh, valuable part of the Mahabharata is this Bhagavad Gita. Bhagavad Gita uh, is consisting of 18 chapters and 700 verses. And there are three main topics within the Bhagavad Gita. First of all, we have the yoga of action, karma yoga. Then we have the yoga of devotion, bhakti yoga. And then the yoga of knowledge, jnana yoga. So the Bhagavad Gita is spoken in the middle of a battlefield between the Supreme Personality of Godhead, Lord Sri Krishna, and his very intimate associate, Arjuna, because Arjuna had come there along with his other brothers, the Pandavas, to fight against their nephews, the Kauravas. Uh, 
前来讲述的，是由至尊性格神手圣主 Krishna 和他亲密的同流阿尔朱纳，呃，向阿尔朱纳讲述的。阿尔朱纳来到这个战场上，他和他的潘达吧，另外四个兄弟，他们被称为潘达五子，他们和另外一方是 k a r a v a 也就是主。So the Bhagavad Gita begins with Arjuna in a dilemma. He does not know if he should fight, if he should take part in the battle or not. He's thinking it's wrong. He's thinking it's not good to fight, and to, there'll be so much violence, there'll be so many deaths. So he's very reluctant to take part in the battle. 佛家梵歌嗯，开始部分呢，讲述的是阿尔朱纳他陷入了一个进退两难的境地，嗯，他并不想参战，因为他认为这个战争是不好的，是错误的，他不希望实施暴力，不希望看到那么多人战死疆场，他根本不想作战。So, so we can see the message of the Bhagavad Gita is very relevant to all of us, because in the course of our own lives, practically on a daily basis. We're faced with decisions about should we do this or not, should we take part in this activity or not. We're we're always in dilemmas, and we have to make decisions. Just like Arjuna had to make a very, a very crucial decision. We can see that this book is relevant to our daily life. It's a very relevant book. 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 我该做这件，就是我该不该做这件事呢？呃，我应该参加这个活动，还是不应该参加这个活动呢？所以，我们总是处在一个进退两难的一一个决决策当中。所以，阿朱呢，他也是这样面对着一个关键的抉择。So we learn from Arjuna how to solve that kind of situation. Arjuna turned to Lord Krishna, and he asked Lord Krishna. He said that. I'm your disciple, and a soul surrendered unto you. Please instruct me. In a similar manner, we should understand. We need to also surrender and take shelter of a representative of Lord Krishna and take instruction from them and be guided from them in our in the course of our lives. Uh, and we see that Arjuna, he will, he will turn to Krishna. 他询问主 Krishna， 他到底该怎么去做？他臣服了 Krishna， 他做了 Krishna 的门徒。同样的，我们也需要臣服、托庇一位主 Krishna 的代表，得到他的训示，得到 Krishna 代表的指导，在我们的生活当中应用这些指导。嗯、hmm. ，So, uh, Arjuna surrendered unto Lord Krishna, and Lord Krishna then. Uh, defeated his different arguments about want about why he didn't want to fight one after another. Each and、uh, each and every reason Arjuna had for not fighting was defeated by Lord Krishna. And in the course of defeating his arguments, Lord Krishna introduced Arjuna to the concept of yoga, particularly karma yoga. Arjuna 就臣服了主 Krishna， 主 Krishna 就一个又一个的击败了 Arjuna 不想作战的理由，呃，并且在啊 Arjuna 打败他不想作战的理由的这个过程当中呢，也介绍了瑜伽的概念，尤其是 Karma Yoga 行动瑜伽。So Lord Krishna explained that by working in a detached manner. Uh, then one can be freed from the karmic reactions of his activities. So that was very important for Arjuna, because taking part in the battle, he was considering about the the reactions which would come on him. But Lord Krishna told him that if you do the duty, because it's your duty to do this, and you do it without attachment to the result, you won't get any reaction. The、uh, Krishna 就嗯向阿尔朱纳解释了活动瑜伽如何履行自己的工作而不弃绝
，而而而以以一种气绝的方式来做自己的工作，以这种方式来摆脱夜报活动的反应。嗯，他强调说，而中呢应该参战，但是呢他不他不应该考虑，他以这种方式参战，他就不会招致这个战斗带来的反应呃的结果，告他身上。而朱呢，告诉而朱呢，他应该履行他应尽的职责，而不依附于这个结果。In this way, Lord Krishna then went on to explain more about the value of transcendental knowledge, and it brought the conversation from topic of karma yoga. He came to the higher level of yoga, which is jnana yoga, where one has transcendental knowledge. Where one actually understands himself not to be the material body, but to be a soul, and not only do we understand ourselves to be a soul, but we understand that there's also the supreme, the supreme Lord, who is situated in the hearts of everyone as a super soul. Krishna 又进一步向尔朱呢解释了超然知识的价值。嗯，他从 karma yoga 业报活动瑜伽的层面，又上升到了 dhyana yoga 知识瑜伽的层面上，向尔朱呢阐释了超然的知识。我们不仅应该明白，我们不是这个躯体是灵魂，还要明白，在我们这个躯体当中，还有另外一个至尊的灵魂居住在我们的心中，那就是超灵存在。And then Krishna gradually brought the conversation to a higher level. Still above Dhyana Yoga, he explained that there's also Dhyana Yoga or meditation on the soul, the super soul in the heart, and that meditation should ultimately lead to Bhakti Yoga or the Yoga of Devotion. Arjun, uh, Krishna 又进一步将谈话的内容从从知识瑜伽、迪亚、迪亚、迪亚纳尤格上升到了迪亚纳尤格冥想的层面上，他他介绍说，应该冥想内心的灵魂和超灵，嗯，这终极的又能把人带到了一个巴提尤格奉爱瑜伽的层面上。So sometimes, often we see that this、uh, the understanding of bhakti yoga is not proper. The people think that bhakti yoga is just some Sentimental, emotional、uh, pastime or activity which devotees have, where they sing and dance, but they have no proper knowledge. But we should understand that bhakti yoga is situated at the top of the yoga ladder. That it includes also knowledge as well as detachment, just like karma yoga gives one detachment. And Jnana Yoga gives one knowledge. Bhakti Yoga is a combin, is the ultimate yoga, and it combines the the effects of Karma Yoga and Jnana Yoga. They're all there within Bhakti Yoga. 嗯，人们通常对于 Bhakti Yoga 奉爱瑜伽的理解是不正确的。他们认为 Bhakti Yoga 奉爱瑜伽仅仅是一个感情用事的活动。只是在那里又唱又跳，嗯，这他们这种理解力是不正确的。巴克瑜伽、奉爱瑜伽实际上是瑜伽阶梯的最高的层面，它包含了知识，包含了嗯思辨瑜伽带导导,导致的知识，以及包含了 karma yoga 活动瑜伽给人们带来的对活活动结果的气觉。所以，巴提瑜伽、奉爱瑜伽是瑜伽阶梯的最高层面，它包含了其他瑜伽所带来的效果。Then Lord Krishna begins to explain more about Bhakti Yoga, which is the content in the central, the center part of the Bhagavad Gita, chapters seven to twelve, are emphasizing the 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 activities of a, a Bhakti Yogi. But at the same time, Lord Krishna also explains other aspects of worship. For example, he talks about demigod worship, and he talks about also、uh, contemplating the universal form. Krishna, 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 Krishna,
家放歌的中间的部分，嗯，强调了巴提欧的奉爱瑜伽的活动，这些是奉爱瑜伽师所从事的活动，是在佛家放歌的第七章到第十二章的部分阐释的。在这个中间呢，他也介绍了其他的崇拜，比如说对半神的崇拜，以及对。宇宙形体的冥想。So Lord Krishna explained about his energies and how there's different、uh, two levels of prakriti. There's the inferior prakriti, which is dead matter, and then there's superior prakriti, which are the living entities. Krishna 讲述说，有他有拥有两类能量，一类能量是低等的能量，低等的 property， 这是由嗯那些不动的死的物质构成的，而另外一个能量是高等的能量，被称为高等的 property， 是由生物体构成。And Lord Krishna explained that he is the father, the seed giving father of all living entities. So all living entities have a, a relationship with the Supreme Lord Krishna. Krishna 说他是众生给予众生，嗯，是众生的这个种子，呃，给予他们种子的这个父亲，播种的父亲。所以每一个生物体和 Krishna 是有着一个关系的，和至尊者 Krishna 都有这种关系。So the path of spiritual realization or path of spiritual practice is very broad. There are many different ways in which people may practice spiritual life, and some people they they consider that the worship of other gods other than Krishna is、uh, the means to perfection in their life, and they worship different deities. Who control different aspects of the material nature, and they worship these deities to get material rewards. 嗯，人们嗯，应该对于灵修的道路呢，它应该有一个宽泛的理解。其实灵修的方法有很多。有些人，有些人呢，他们崇拜别的神祇。他们用这种方法来崇拜、控制物质、自然的各个方面的这些神像，来得到物质的回报。So this is commonly referred to as demigod worship. Ultimately, there's one supreme personality of Godhead, and there's a in, in the heavenly, in within the material world, there are. Higher planets, and the, one of the higher planets is the region of heaven, where the demigods reside. And these demigods, who are something like thirty, three hundred and thirty million demigods, and they charge, they're given the responsibility of overseeing these different aspects of the material nature. For example. There's a god of rain, and there's a god of the wind, and there's a god of the sun, and there's a god of water, and there's a god of、uh, digestion, and there's a god of air in the body breathing, and there's there's a god controlling the movements of our eyebrows, and every everything is under the control of some different deva or demigod. But above all these demigods, there's one supreme Lord, who is the supreme personality of God. Then, in some cases, some people worship the demigods. Usually, we just talked about the demigods. But above the demigods, there is a supreme Lord. We must know that in the material world, there is a supreme Lord. In the material world, there is a supreme Lord. In the material world, there is a supreme Lord. 居住有一个嗯领区域被称为是天堂，在天堂呢居住的那些三有三千三百万的半神人，而这些半神人他们关管理监督着物质自然的运作，比如说
有控制雨水的神雨神，还有风神，嗯，太阳神，水神，还有控制消化的神指，控制我们的呼气呼吸的神指，以及控制我们的眼皮眨动的神指，这些被称为是 deva 半神人。但是在这些半神人之上，存在着呃至高无上的至尊性格神手。So Lord Krishna explains in the Bhagavad Gita that the worship of these different gods is done for material benefit. So people who do these things are foolish because they get results which are limited and temporary. And by worshiping these gods, then they will, their destination will be that they, cannot, they will go to the planet of the demigods. In other words, they'll stay in the material world and they'll continue to take birth again. Krishna 在国家梵歌当中阐释说，这些崇拜这些半神呢，只能带来物质的好处，而且这种做法是愚蠢的，因为崇拜半神人其结果短暂而有限，因为他们的目标呢是得到一个更高的出生，他们只能是出生在半神人居住的天堂，而我们知道，嗯，这也是在停留在物质世界。Ultimately, everyone should worship the Supreme Lord, because whatever gifts are given by these demigods can only be given with the sanction of the Supreme Lord. So Krishna explains that bhakti yoga means to worship Him and to offer everything to Him. 终其而言，每个人都应当崇拜至尊祖，因为嗯，那些。普通人得到的礼物呢，也是至尊经过至尊主的允许被给予一般人的，所以人们应当来从事巴比乌的护马瑜伽，来崇拜他，崇拜至尊主，嗯，然后把一切都供奉给至尊主。And then Lord Krishna goes on to explain how we can worship him very simply by offering things which are available everywhere, like a leaf, a flower. Fruit or water, so his worship is very simple. But the worship of demigods can be very complex, and you have to have many different things to offer to them. So Krishna 又接着解释说，对他的崇拜是非常简单的，呃，而且就是可以用他手头上可以找到的任何的，比如说叶子，一片叶子，一朵花，一个水，一。And then Lord Krishna gives the most confidential knowledge. It right in the middle of the Bhagavad Gita, the end of the ninth chapter, Lord Krishna describes how we can please Him by performing four different activities. And、these are first of all to use our mind to think of him, and then to become his devotee, and to worship him, and to offer our obeisances to him. To Krishna, in the Bhagavad Gita, the ninth chapter, the middle part, 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 the 在第九章的结尾部分，鲁克什纳就告诉人们怎么可以取悦他。他阐释说，他们可以从事四项活动来取悦他。嗯，将心意，一个是用心意恒常想着他，可以崇拜他、顶拜他，成为他的奉献者。So use our mind first of all to use our mind to think of him. Obviously, we'll have to know. Something about Krishna. We should understand Krishna as a person, that he's not some. He's not just some mythological character. He's actually a real person, and he has a form, and he has activities, and there.、Uh, so there, there's many things we can learn about him, about his activities and his qualities and what he does. And this way, then we can remember him. 嗯，如果嗯要将心意恒常嗯专注于 Krishna， 那我们需要了解 Krishna， 
。Krishna 呢是一个人，他并不是一个呃神秘的神话人物，呃，他有他的形象，他有他的活动，所以我们需要学习 Krishna 的活动 ，Krishna 的品质 ，Krishna 都做了些什么事情。So Bhagavad Gita is Krishna speaking himself directly to Arjuna and giving his teachings to Arjuna. But we can read more about Lord Krishna in books like the Srimad Bhagavatam or in the Krishna book which we have. And these books are written about Krishna and we can hear about Krishna's life and what Krishna did when he was on this planet 5,000 years ago. And we can read about his different qualities. And how he's worshipped and appreciated by all the great demigods in the universe. My Lord,是主，至尊主Krishna亲口向尔中呢讲述的，嗯，教导。除此之外呢，还有其他的书籍，比如说《圣殿国家晚坛》以及Krishna快乐的全员这些书籍是有关于Krishna的嗯话题。人们应当聆听从这些书籍当中聆听Krishna的生活。Krishna在五千年前在这个星球上显现的时候，他的所作所为，他不同的品质，他如何受到人们的崇拜，受到半神的崇拜和半神人们的欣赏。So in this way, we can use our mind to think of Krishna, and then to become a devotee, we have to understand what what. What is the business of a devotee? What does a devotee do? So Lord Krishna explains in the Bhagavad Gita how the devotees are always chanting his glories and how they're endeavoring with great determination to please Krishna. So, and then we should worship Krishna. And how to worship Krishna? Well, we, we said whatever we offer, whenever we cook food, we offer the food to Krishna. Of course, the food must be vegetarian. And we, we, we can also worship Krishna by offering leaves and flowers and fruits. And we can also worship Krishna by offering our work to Krishna. 那如何崇拜呢？就是通过我们可以供奉我们所烹制的素食，嗯，来崇拜Krishna。也可以，呃，刚才讲到了说，以一片叶子、以一朵花、一个水果来崇拜Krishna，以或者是将自己的工作献给
to remember you in in my in my daily activities can i is there some way i can see you through the material world and so then Krishna went on to explain about his opulences, how he is, for example, the taste in water and the syllable Om and the Vedic, the Vedic mantras. And he said, of, of, beasts, of beasts I am the lion, of flowing rivers I am the Ganga. And Krishna went on to give many, many examples. I think there's more than 80 examples there in the 10th chapter of the Bhagavad Gita. But after all of these examples, then Lord Krishna concluded it. He said, but Arjuna, there's no need, you don't need all this detailed knowledge. He said, just understand that by a single fragment of myself, I pervade and support the entire creation. And that single fragment of Krishna, that's what we call the super soul. The super soul is just the expansion of Lord Krishna, and it's a tiny fragment of Krishna. So there are 80, 80 examples in, in the 10th chapter. Eight, eight, yeah. Okay, okay. So Krishna in the 10th chapter, he gave us 10 examples to explain how to understand the physical world and the existence of the physical world. 接着Krishna又下结论 so Arjuna was very happy to hear all this from Lord Krishna, uh, but, he, 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 but he still had another request. And he requested Krishna, he said that, you've told me everything, you've established everything philosophically, but he said, I want you to prove it, I want you to show your position, not just philosophically, but practically. I want you to actually reveal to me how you are the Supreme Lord and how everything rests in you. And so in this way, Lord Krishna was going to reveal his universal form to Arjuna. Arjuna Krishna 所以進一步呢,Krishna將要展示他的宇宙形體了。所以進一步呢,Krishna將要展示他的宇宙形體了。所以進一步呢,Krishna將要展示他的宇宙形體了。所以進一步呢,Krishna將要展示他的宇宙
呢的哎帮助下呢，主窥视呢，他就确立了一个呃一一个呃标准，呃，如何一个人如何能证明他自己是神？如果他自称自己是神，如果他自称是自尊至尊主的话，他应该按照要求展示他的宇宙形体，这一点非常重要，因为在这个年代呢。有很多自称为神的骗子，所以如果一个人自称他神的话，我们就可以向他挑战说：“那么就请你展示你的宇宙形体，让我们看看好了。”嗯 ，So Srila Prabhupada describes this universal form as a godless display of opulence. So less intelligent people who are, who don't have the vision to actually see the Lord in His transcendental form. They are encouraged to contemplate God through the objects of the universe. This is what we would call pantheism. Ah, Sri Prabhupada, by this term, is, um, godless dis display of opulence, right? Yes. Ah, Sri Prabhupada, by this term, is, um, is, a kind of unbiased display of. 物质富裕的展示，嗯，因为普通人呢，他们还持着这种无神论的观点，所以他他们并不理解主的超然的形象，嗯，他们只能透过物质的对象来理解，来来看到主的存在，所以这个通常被称之为半神论。半神论 ，is that pantheism？ 嗯，来来，你猜。半神论。P A N P A N T H E I S M。Yes， 半神论，半神崇拜，半神信仰，认为神存在于万事万物。Okay, so the, so the the idea of this、uh, universal form is that we can see everything in the universe there within that form, and Lord Krishna revealed that form to Arjuna. Arjuna could see everything, but Arjuna not only saw everything in the universe, but he also saw what is the kala roop, the Krishna in the form of time. And he saw how all the great fighters in the battle of Kurukshetra, how they were all going to die, how they were all entering into the different mouths and were they were being devoured. And Arjuna was shocked to see all these people that they were all going to die. All the great generals were going to be killed in the course of this battle. So this is what is. 在，就是 Krishna 的宇宙形象呢，他就展示说，万事万物都存在于这个他的宇宙形象当中。这是 Krishna 在战场上向阿朱那展示的，一切都存在于他的宇宙形象当中。呃，除此之外呢， Krishna 还展示了他的 Kala Rupa， 也就是实心形象。呃，阿朱那看到呢，在战场上的所有那些战士都将死去。进入至尊主的这个卡拉鲁克的不同的呃口中，他他们这些伟大的将领都会被他的卡拉鲁克主至尊主的嗯时间形象所吞噬。而中呢，看到这一幕场景，他感到大为震惊。Uh, so when Krishna showed this form of time to Arjuna, Arjuna、uh, Krishna was encouraging Arjuna that. These soldiers are already put to death. They're going to die. Whether you fight or not, it won't make any difference. They're all going to die. But he encouraged Arjuna. He said, "You should become an instrument in my service." Krishna 就以这种方式向阿朱那展示了他的时间形体。嗯 ，Krishna 向阿朱那展示说。不管尔朱纳做不做战，所有这些战士都会都将死亡，所以尔朱纳应该成为他的工具，来为他做服务。And then Krishna revealed his forearm form to Arjuna, and then he 
Arjuna, however, Arjuna was not happy to see the universal form. He requested Krishna, please show me your forearm form. So then Krishna revealed his forearm form, like as Narayan, and, and then Arjuna said, no, I want to see your original form. I prefer that form, the two-arm form. And it's that two-arm form which is the original form of Lord Krishna. So, in this way, Krishna was, uh, he shows that, that the devotee is most attracted to the two-armed form of Krishna, because that, that is the most attractive of all Krishna's forms. Krishna in two, with two arms, playing the flute, standing in the threefold bending form with the peacock feather and with lotus eyes. It is the most attractive, the most appealing to those who are devotees. And Arjuna is a devotee, remember. That is Arjuna's most important qualification to hear the Bhagavad Gita. Without being a devotee, then we won't, we won't be able to understand the Bhagavad Gita. So Krishna, um, Krishna Shitazi 如果不成为奉献者，是不能理解国家放歌的。Yeah，Arjuna we want to cultivate our devotion. We have to be devotees. So it's important for us. We should chant the names of Krishna. We should worship Krishna. We should cultivate our devotion. And that will help us to understand the Bhagavad Gita more. <laughs> And the, then the twelfth chapter, in the twelfth chapter, Lord Krishna describes that the the best is the best of all devotees is one who fixes who can fix his mind on Krishna constantly and remember him at every moment. But if you can't do that, then Lord Krishna says, then try to practice the regulative principles of bhakti yoga. And in this way gradually you'll develop a desire to attain me. <laughs> Jesusho so 
the regulated principles of bhakti yoga are not just simply the you know no meat fish and eggs no intoxication no gambling no illicit sex but the regulated principles of bhakti yoga require that we should chant the holy name and we should offer our food to krishna and we should study the scriptures with devotees these kind of activities this is it the regulated principles of bhakti yoga and if we're not able to do these things, then we can always practice karma yoga, which means offering the results of our work to Krishna, or at least some portion of the results of our work to Krishna. And in this way, gradually, we will come to Krishna. So Krishna, you can see Krishna is giving many different alternatives in the course of speaking Bhagavad Gita. So then we come to the final section of the Bhagavad Gita, beginning chapter 13, and Lord Krishna explains more about the yoga of knowledge, and he describes particularly how the three modes of nature influence us and how we are entangled within that energy of the three modes. And uh, and, and that we have to transcend these modes of nature by devotional service. And Krishna then also explains how there are two natures. There's the nature of the devotee and the nature of the non-devotee. And how the people who are devotees, they will have good qualities, but those who are not devotees, they'll have very bad qualities, like, you know, unless they'll get ang angry very easily and unnecessarily, and they'll be very dirty and lazy, and they'll be, have many bad habits. And then the, the final chapter of the Bhagavad Gita is like a summary of what Lord Krishna has taught through the earlier chapters. And in the, in the final chapter of the Bhagavad Gita, we see how Lord Krishna explains that there's confidential knowledge, and then there's more confidential knowledge, and there's the most confidential knowledge. Right. The confidential knowledge, first of all, is knowledge of the Brahman, which is like the impersonal energy of Krishna. And then the more confidential knowledge is knowledge of the super soul, which is the all pervading feature of Krishna in the heart of every living entity and even in the atoms. And then there's the most confidential knowledge is that, that Krishna is a person and he's, he's residing in his own abode and he has a, a, 
and has an internal relationship with all living entities. Krishna的智识是指的超灵的智识 so then Lord Krishna describes to Arjuna again, he explains the most confidential knowledge, which he'd already explained in the ninth chapter, and where he asked Arjuna to do four things. So it's almost like four things. Is, could, maybe Arjuna is saying to Krishna, can you just give me one? So then Krishna says to Arjuna, he said, just surrender unto me. Give up all forms of material religiosity and just surrender unto me and I will free you from all sinful reactions. Do not fear. Krishna又进而向尔中呢形容了最亲密的知识最亲密的知识在尔中呢描述了最亲密的知识现在呢 嗯，尔中呢又要求奎什呢，应尔中呢的要求呢，他又强调了嗯有四件事情，做四件事情。呃，那么嗯接着呢，尔中呢呢实实际上就是向奎什呢要求说，你就跟我说一件事情好了。那
呃，这个对话呢是呃，桑桑加亚，也就是对他巴舍王的秘书，他给桑加嗯，向向对他巴舍来描述的这个场景，嗯，而对他巴舍王是考拉瓦考拉瓦们的父亲。So Sanjay had to tell Dhritarashtra. He said yeah, he wasn't. He didn't think there was much hope for the sons of Dhritarashtra. He thought they're not going to win the battle because they're fighting against Lord Krishna and Arjuna. And Sanjay predicted, and we see the final verse of the Bhagavad Gita. Sanjay is saying, wherever there is Krishna, the master of all mystics, and Arjuna, the expert bowman, there will be victory. There will be morality. There will be extraordinary power, and there will be opulence. Sanjaya 告诉对他巴士王，嗯，那么你的儿子获胜呢是没有指望了，因为他们反对 Krishna， 反对 Arjuna， 嗯，而且 Sanjaya 也预言说，最后的胜利会属于 Arjuna。在最后一个世界当中呢，桑加亚说道：“无论玄秘力量之主 ，Krishna 阿朱纳在 Krishna 在哪里，无论哪里有永不可挡的弓箭手阿朱纳，嗯，那里就那里就会有胜利、道德、超凡的力量和富裕。嗯” So this is, uh, our Sanjay's opinion, and it's actually a fact that if somebody Take shelter of Lord Krishna and Arjuna. If we remember this conversation and these instructions, then certainly our life will be auspicious, and we will be successful in our endeavors. This is Sanjaya's opinion. This is also a fact. No matter who takes shelter of Krishna, like Krishna, like Arjuna, takes shelter of Krishna. 时刻想着 Krishna， 嗯，然后做他应该做的事情来执行 Krishna 的训示，那么他们的生命就会大功告成，而且他的生活是吉祥的，他的生命会成功，他的努力也将成功。So today is this auspicious day in which Lord Krishna spoke the Bhagavad Gita about five thousand years ago, and many devotees are reciting the whole Bhagavad Gita today. 所以今天是一个非常吉祥的日子，是 Krishna 亲口讲述《国家赞歌》的这一个日子。在五千年前，他亲口讲述了《国家赞歌》，全世界许许多多的奉献者在今天这个日子都会背诵《国家赞歌》的诗节。Okay, so thank you very much. If there are any questions, we'll try to answer. 非常感谢大家。嗯，接下来来回答问题。第一个是柴三家查让说的，顶拜圣，顶拜多日，呃，感谢翻译。国家放歌有四种声音，是哪四种声音？嗯 ，Bhagavad Gita have a four kind of songs. Which are they? Where does it say this? 有四种声音。Where? Yeah, you know, ask him. Where it says this in the Bhagavad Gita? 哎，咱家查让他不，嗯，国家放歌哪里提到了国家放歌说有四种声音？ Next one. Ah, he is not saying that there are four people who can speak. There is a big difference. Four voices and four people who can speak are different. What? There are four kinds of people speaking. Four voices and four people. Four people speak. Uh, 
前天就传染跑步，您能不能具体的讲一下是在哪里？有人啊、oh, ，some he he says somebody ask this question to him. Well, ask them where is it says this in the Bhagavad Gita. 嗯，请你问一下他们，反问他们，这是在佛家方哥哪个地方提到的？ We know there's four kind of people who don't surrender to Krishna. There's four reasons why people do surrender to Krishna. But I never heard anywhere that there's four sounds. I don't know where that is coming from. Okay. Hi, you went in. Shukhi如何给大家说，哈利·克里斯，顶拜古鲁和老师们，请问古鲁，如果一个学生能够把佛教梵歌的全部世界背诵下来，并且努力按照这些教导生活，他是否在活着的时候就能够真实见到至尊
，没用的。嗯。OK。下一个，第二个问题。今天我们会有在网络上一起诵读国家赞歌诗节译文的活动，有些新人。是带着物质获利的动机而来的，请问咕噜，您对于帮助他们的灵性复苏有什么建议呢？咱咕噜和老师们。Because today they are going to recite,、uh, read、uh, the verses and the translation of Bhagavad Gita, translation of the verse of Bhagavad Gita. Some there will be some new faculty also attending, but、uh, with material motive to uh, uh, to um, for material benefits. So, Guru, what's your suggestion for for them to awake in the spiritual in their spiritual life? Well. They have some material benefit. That's all right. They can worship Krishna. Krishna allows people with material desires also to worship Him, and by worshiping Krishna, they will gradually get purified. They have material. They want to get material benefit. This is not unbearable. They worship Krishna. Krishna allows Krishna to be purified. 这种做法，他们带着物质的愿望来崇崇拜 Krishna， 逐渐的会得到净化。Let them continually associate with devotees, and by associating with the devotees, then they will gradually also give up their material desires. 就让他们继续参加联谊好了。让他们通过这些联谊，能够逐步的放弃他们的物质愿望。They will realize their material desire, or they will for, they will just forget about their material desires as they become more absorbed in their devotional activities. They will forget about their material desires. 他们呃就会逐步的。把他们的物质愿望忘得一干二净。如果他们专注于物奉爱服务的这些活动，逐步的他们就会忘记所有这些物质愿望了。嗯、mm, ，We cannot stop desire, but we can purify desires. 愿望是不能停止的，但是可以，愿望是可以净化的。So we have to be tolerant of. People, of course, people come with material desires, but they're coming. That's good. So let let them keep coming, and as they keep coming, they'll become more and more purified. So we must be tolerant of them. Um, people, of course, are coming with material desires. Um, but when they come, they are good. They are just coming. 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 They're reading Bhagavad Gita. Very good. If they're reading, they will have questions. I think they must. They must have some questions when they read the Bhagavad Gita. So that's very good. Encourage them to ask their questions and try to answer, try to satisfy them. They have some questions. They have some questions. They have some questions. They have some So we see many examples of people with material desires who became devotees. They became great devotees just by practicing devotional activities, by doing things like hearing Bhagavad Gita, you know, being with devotees, 
they will get purified. You don't even have to talk about their material desires. Just chant Hare Krishna and read the Bhagavad Gita. You don't have to talk about their, their, their material desires. They'll just be forgotten in the course of time by chanting, by hearing about Krishna. Okay, yeah. Next question. Galaxy. Oh, The question is that the original form uh, of the Lord, isn't that the original form of the Lord is Shamasundar and not Narayan? Yes, the original form is Shamsundar Krishna. And Narayan is the expansion from Krishna. So I described, Krishna showed the universal form, then Arjuna asked to see Krishna's forearm form, and then Arjuna wanted to see Krishna's original form, the two-arm form. Well, Bhishma, Bhishma Panchak is not Bhishma leaving the body. Bhishma leaves the body, it's coming, it's not, it's not yet, it's coming. It's when the sun changes course, there's a time in the year when the sun starts moving from the south, it starts moving north. So, or when it's from the north, it starts moving south, when the sun changes direction. So that's the actual time, that's when Bhishma leaves the body. It's, it's not now, it's not at Bhishma Panchak, that's not right. Because as you said, as you said, uh, this is, we're speaking, Krishna speaking Bhagavad Gita, and then the, Bhagavad, the battle of Kurukshetra takes place, and then Bhishma's on the body, he's laying on the bed of arrows, and he lays there for many days, and he waits for the particular time. Well, he waits for the time to the sun change, but he also waits for Lord Krishna to come, because Lord, Lord Krishna is going to come. 
with Maharaj Yudhisthira. And Bhishma lays on this bed of arrows and for many days he instructs Maharaj Yudhisthira about how to rule the kingdom and he encourages him because Maharaj Yudhisthira was very despondent about all the deaths, about so many people being killed in the battle. But Bhishma pacified him and consoled him and told him it's not your fault, it was the arrangement of Krishna. And he teaches, tells, tells him how to rule. And then, then the sun starts to change direction and that's when Bhishma leaves the body. It's somewhere around February, March. Lausu 这过程当中另外一个是等待他就是要教导有关于统治王国的事情之后呢他要改变轨迹然后他离开去底这是时间是在二月份三月份的时间他离开去底 Krishna, Guru Maharaj and dear devotees, please accept my humble basin of Lord Shlokhavad. Guru could, could Mara tell us about the benefit we get when we learn the Bhagavad Gita's shlokas in Sanskrit? Do you know, Maharaj, um, Maharaj, you know, you know, you know, you know, you know, you know, you well, these are the actual words of Lord Krishna. So by reciting the words which were spoken by Krishna, we get some purification. And, and we should understand it's very powerful to use the Sanskrit words because it makes it more authoritative when we're speaking and presenting something. If we support it with the actual words in Sanskrit from the Bhagavad Gita, then it gives more authority to what we're saying. <laughs> Yes。下一个是。翻译主持人和奉献者私自盗印盗版印刷国家放歌原意赚钱符合国家放歌原意的目的吗这样活动还在进行 
wanting bubble keep as it is by themselves. Is this mm, uh, uh, is, is this tell with the purpose of bubble keeper? Because this kind of activity is still going on. Yes, well. It depends what they use the money for. <laughs> they earn money, they print the Bhagavad Gita, it's very good, they print the Bhagavad Gita and they make money, but if, if they use the money for Krishna's service, then it's good. But if they use the money for sense gratification, then it's not good. But it's nice that they print the Bhagavad Gita in some ways because we need we need to propagate the message of Bhagavad Gita. Hmm. Jesha How to understand those four kinds of people who accept Krishna Krishna. Among them there is uh, somebody who's after wealth and it's easy for them to accept Krishna, the knowledge of Krishna consciousness. I cannot understand this. Well, you have to understand that because they've come to Krishna, it indicates that they have some piety, they have some purity, because there are many other ways in which people may want to get wealth, many other places they could go, but somehow they've come to Krishna in searching for wealth. So this is a very special qualification. <laughs> Krishna so it means they're contacting the devotees and they're going to be in the association of devotees and practicing devotional service. And even though their motivation is not pure devotion, but still they're in the right place and they've got, they've got the right association and gradually they can become purified. <laughs> Mm, just like we see in the Srimad Bhagavatam, the example of Dhruva, the Dhruva was a young boy and he wanted to get a kingdom greater than his father and his grandfather. And he went to the forest and did austerities. And in six months he saw God. But then when he saw God, then he realized that he didn't really want anything material. He just wanted devotional service. He had become purified. <laughs> Bhagavad 
他都觉得他已经不想要任何物质的事物了，他只想要奉献服务了，所以他已经得到了净化。嗯。嗯。You know, when we first become devotees, when we come to Krishna consciousness, our, we cannot. I, I know myself. I didn't have a motive for pure devotion. You know, I had material desires, but they become purified in course of time by practice of the devotional activities. So, when the devotee. 进入 Krishna 刚进入 Krishna 直觉的时候，嗯，至少我本人我加入的时候，我还是带着物质的欲望。但是随着时间的推移，就得到了净净化，就通过修习、用爱服务的种种活动得到净化。嗯、so the important thing is we we in we see somebody coming to Krishna consciousness and. They have the desire to do service. They want to do service. Okay, even though they may want some material benefit from doing the service, we encourage them. Okay, come, you come and do some service. Come and take part in the activities, and gradually they get purified. Now, what 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 material benefit do they get from serving Krishna? You don't get a lot of money. You don't get paid a lot of money. We sometimes we do give the devotees. Sometimes we give them maintenance enough so that they can live, because they have to maintain their life. Just like here in Mayapur, there are many brahmacharis. So the brahmacharis they're working all they're doing service all day in the temple, and the temple gives them a few hundred rupees every month so that they have enough to buy soap and to buy new cloth when they need it. You know, it's not a lot of money, a few hundred rupees, you know, every month, but it's enough to maintain themselves. Ah, that man, man, people, 能够继续做服务，我们就应该鼓励他们来参加活动，逐渐得到净化。因因为即虽然即使他们有物质的愿望，但是他们能够服务 Krishna， 这是很好的事情。嗯，他们得到一些报偿，就是嗯嗯，报偿呢并不是很多的钱，因为奉献者也需要维持生计。就像在马普这里呢，有许多的遵守生在庙里做服务。那么他们几个月，他们每个月呢，庙里给他们几百卢比，他们可以拿钱来买肥皂啊、衣服啊，几百卢比并是并不是很多的钱，只是仅仅能够维持他们的生计。Can uh, Rachel understand this point? Uh, Rachel. 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 Maharaj, 问您，你明白了吗？您可以打一个。Yes. Yes. She said yes. Thank Thank you. I understand. Okay. 下一个。Prasampa Devadasi, Hare Krishna, 明白 Guru， 明白，明白所有奉献者。佛家放歌说，崇拜谁到谁那里去。但是，地狱变相图里说，众生结束之时，要到阎罗王那里报道，而且还说有中阴身之说。佛家放歌说，无时无刻。想着主 Krishna 离开躯体就到 Krishna 那里，弟子想不明白，恳请姑如明示。呃 ，In b a b i t a is that, uh, when we, whoever worship or whatever they worship, they will go to the place they worship. But there is a, a picture. I think it is it is a from. Buddhism. There's a picture about 
water, uh, when living entity passed away from from the body, they have to go to the Yamaraj to report to to go to in Yama the local Yamaraj. And also in and also there's a theory about about the This Zhong is that one one uh transcend uh, death, one have to go go through re reveal his or her whole life. Yes. Bado, or bado. Uh, and about uh, but I mean about Gita, it is that one have to <coughs> remember Lord. And after they give up their body, they will go to Krishna. So, it, about this point, I'm not. I cannot understand. Please reveal this to me. <coughs> well, first of all, devotees don't go to Yamaraj because Yamaraj has already told his servants, the Yamadudas, that they should never go near the Vaishnavas because the Vaishnavas are chanting the holy name of the Supreme Lord, so they should stay away from the Vaishnavas. A devotee, of course, at the time of death, when we live, when we're dying, we'll, we'll see our whole life come before us. We'll remember all the things we've did, we've done throughout our life. So, if you've been a devotee, if you practice Krishna consciousness, so at the time of death, we'll remember Krishna. <laughs> And the devotee told Prabhupada, he asked Prabhupada, he said, Prabhupada, he said, I'm, I'm doing service, I'm following the four principles, I'm chanting my rounds every day. He said, but I, I'm not able to think of Krishna. But Prabhupada told him, he said, that's all right, you continue as you're doing. And he said, then at the time of death, Krishna will come and for, will force himself into your mind and take you back to Godhead. Is that help? Is that clear, Mataji? Is that... Uh, prasanta, ma. Who? Is that Sangha? Prasanta. Oh, Prasanta. Prasanta. Ah, Prasanta. Don't be. So, uh, Bausham Sundar is the two arm form and Narayan is the four arm form. Shama Sundar Krishna, his, his Goloka Vrindavan, his, his residence is Goloka Vrindavan, but Narayana, he's in Vaikuntha. 
其次 s h a m a s u n d e r 的居居所，他居住在 d o l o k a v a n d a v a n 而 n a r a n a 居住在 v a i k u n a 无忧星宿。Did that answer the question? Well, Krishna, the Shamsundar Krishna, he's a cowherd boy in Goloka Vrindavan, and he goes out with the cows every day, and his pastimes are with the people of Vrindavan. But Lord Narayan, he's 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 in Vaikuntha, and his pastimes are different because uh, he's he's like the like Lord Narayan, he's the king and he's on the throne and. He's being worshipped and surrounded by all his uh, devotees, and they're describing his glory. It, the, the, it's a very different relationship. In Vaikuntha, Lord Narayan, the relationship is always master and servant. The people in Vaikuntha are all servants. But in Goloka Vrindavan, Krishna has his friends, and he has his mother and father, and he has also the gopis, pastimes with the gopis. But Lord Narayan is different. He has his wife. He has his consort there, and he, he has also his mother and father. But it's not like in Goloka Vrindavan. It's a different mood. That he he has uh, so much opulence there in Vaikuntha, but in Vrindavan it's the countryside. It's a village life and very simple, very pure. 山姆孙德尔，他是一个牧牛童的呃形象。他每天呢会去放牧、放牛。他和他的文达文的居民们，嗯，朝夕相处。他在格洛克文达文有自己的，而而纳瑞亚呢呢，他是不一样的。他是一个国王的形象。他坐在宝座上，得到奉献者们的崇拜。嗯，在呃，那白昆塔。拿瑞呢和他的奉献者是主仆关系，那里的奉献者的全都他都是他的仆人，他嗯然后那香村的奎什呢，他是有自己的父母，他的和他的奉献的关系也有朋友的关系啊，父母和孩子关系，他还有嗯都皮嗯女朋友，他和他们有小时光，嗯，而在瓦昆特的主拿瑞呢，他也有自己的妻子、伴侣、父母。但那个心态不一样，他们在百昆特主要是富裕的展示，而格洛克文达文呢是一个乡村的生活，那里的生活是特别简单淳朴的。Yes. So the mood in Goloka Vrindavan is more sweetness, but the mood in Vaikuntha is opulence.、Uh, where there's opulence, then there's more awe and veneration and reverence. But in my Goloka Vrindavan, there's more sweetness and intimacy. In Goloka Vrindavan, 呢是有着甜美亲密的氛围，而在百昆塔呢是一种富裕的体现。呃，那里的人们是有着敬畏之情。嗯嗯 ，OK。嗯 ，OK。下一个是 Vrindavan Das。Hare Krishna， 禀拜 Guru Dev 和所有奉献者的莲花体。一，请问主 Krishna 的形体、情感、爱、名字、消时光都是人格的，那么主的居所是人格的吗？主还有哪些方面具有人格性？啊、uh, ，Since the form, emotion, love, a name, and lila. Of Lord Krishna, uh, are all personal. Then the abode of the Lord is it that the abode of the Lord is also a personal? Yes. A personality.、Uh, yes. 是是的，主的居所也是人格的。And it's also transcendental. Completely pure and transcendental, not different, really, from Krishna. Krishna's abode. 主的居所，它
他是既超然又纯洁的，他和主本人没有不同。And what other aspect of the Lord is also per personal, except those uh, form name? Well, every uh, everything which is the, the paraphernalia of the Lord, all the Lord's paraphernalia is personal. His mirror. <laughs> His comb, his ornaments, his you know the different jewelry which he wears, his crown, and everything is personal. 嗯，主的一切就是随身用具，也都是人格的。他的主所用的梳子，主照的镜子，主所佩戴的饰物，他的佩戴的珠宝、皇冠，也是人格的。嗯。啊哈。尔珠呢？第二个问题。尔珠呢，在第十八章七十三节诗中说：“如奎什纳讲的一切，他都接受，而且去除了幻象、疑虑，完全，完全臣服，然后准备好，随时随地的按照主的训示去行动。”我们是不是也应该和尔珠呢一样，有这样的觉悟呢？嗯 ，in the eighteen chapter, uh, verse seventy three, uh, Arjuna said, told Lord Krishna that he accept everything, uh, Lord Krishna told him, and all his doubts are removed, and he had surrendered and prepared to to take actions according to instruction of the Lord. Should we also? Have that kind of realization as a shuna? Oh yes, definitely. Krishna wants that. Krishna wants us to surrender to him and to be ready to do as he says. That's surrender. Krishna wants us to surrender. So that that is surrender. That now I've heard and now I'm ready to act as you say, as you tell me, I should do. 肯定的，肯定的，应该是按照主奎什纳希望的去臣服，并且去做主奎什纳按照他的话语去做事儿，臣服，准备好做所一切需要去做的事情。Just like in a military battle, in the military, or if you're in the army, you're trained to follow orders, you get instructions, and you just do it, right? And so we should. We should be like that. We should just surrender to Krishna and be ready to do everything which He's told us to do. This is like in a military force. These soldiers are trained to follow orders and to follow instructions. In the same way, we use the same method to serve Krishna and to do everything Krishna wants us to do. Uh-huh. Uh, next one. Sukita Guru, and some people also pray. They don't do everything according to the four rules of conduct. But they say to do it. They like to read books. They also read books. And they also see other people reading books. This way, Sukita Guru will not go to heaven. Will he go to heaven? 嗯，他认为一切是 Krishna 安排，做什么不重要，包括成功啊，回不回家园和神手，他自信说，他自，他比较自信，他，他，他对他的想法自信，我没办法说服他，请 Guru 给建议，怎么改变他的想法？感恩 Guru 妈妈仁慈，礼拜 Guru 的莲花主 Hare Krishna。有 There's a new party. He also he or she is also chanting, but not fully follow reg for regular principles. But uh, oh, then he he said he's trying his uh, he's trying his best 
He likes to read books, um, but he also read Bhagavad Gita, translated by others. So, will he go astray by practicing Krishna consciousness in this way? Well, because he well, he st yes. he ha he ha he hasn't practiced Krishna consciousness properly. He's not following the four principles. So he hasn't even begun to practice Krishna consciousness yet. Is he chanting Hare Krishna? Yes. He is chanting. How many rounds? Anyway, uh, yeah, he, he can certainly go off straight. He can go off because he's not reading our book. He's reading somebody, someone else's Bhagavad Gita. So he's going to be influenced by some other philosophy. But it depends. You know, some people write the Bhagavad Gita and they don't put any purports. And so if it's just the verses without purports, then it's not such a big problem. But if, you know, if there's a lot of Mayavadi philosophy there, then it's a problem. You should encourage him to go to the Srimad Bhagavatam. He's been reading the Bhagavad Gita. Try to introduce him to the Srimad Bhagavatam and tell him this is the higher study of the Bhagavad Gita. It would be very helpful for him. And so, because he likes to read, so he's reading other people's Bhagavad Gita. But you tell him this this is the Bhagavatam and this goes on from where the Bhagavad Gita stops. Because the Bhagavad Gita stops with Krishna telling Arjuna to surrender. So once we've surrendered, then where should we go? What do we do? So that's described in the Srimad Bhagavatam. So Srimad Bhagavatam continues from where the Bhagavad Gita left off. Ning 接终止的地方呢，国家法坛又进一步上进一步开始了，所以您可以借此鼓励他读国家法坛。嗯，He said because this this new party has his own ideas. He thinks that everything is Krishna's arrangement, and whatever he did is not important, including whether he'll uh, success uh, uh, succeed or not. All right, so it's Krishna's arrangement. He met the devotee. He met the devotee, so he should accept that is Krishna's arrangement, that Krishna wants him to get some higher instruction. Krishna sent you there to help him. 
to bring him to a higher level of devotion. But sometimes people who talk like that, they're not very serious. They just want, they just talk, but they don't, they don't actually practice anything. They read the Bhagavad Gita, but they don't practice. It's not practicing regular principles and, you know, he's got so many ideas, he's enjoying his own mind. He's still attached to sense gratification. He's, you know, he's not really got genuine devotion. He's not so straightforward. Uh, yeah. He's got some other purposes in mind, he's got his own ideas, he hasn't really surrendered to Krishna. Transcendental. Bhishma's death, rasa with Krishna is chivalry. He's fighting with, he's fighting against Arjuna and he's firing arrows into Krishna. But when he's firing arrows into Krishna, he's thinking, he, they're, they're, they're arrows, but they're, he's thinking of them like flowers which he's offering to Krishna. And so he has a, a, a mood of servant, Dasharas, he's offering his flowers in the form of arrows to Krishna. Krishna的关系是超然的，就比什么他和Krishna的关系是一种歧视，歧视的关系。他在战场上呢，和尔顿的作战，然后他向Krishna射箭，但是他想的是这些射出的这些箭呢，就是就。<咳> 就像鲜花一样是供奉给Krishna的，所以它是一，这也是一种服务，这种仆人的仆人的服务，它在向Krishna供奉鲜花呢。There's also some love there. There's also some mood of love because, just like sometimes a, a young man and a young woman, they're very much in love with each other, and the young man may bite. He may bite the neck of the young woman, and he will he will put the, you know he will bite the neck of the young woman with his teeth. We call it a love bite. So the same way Bhishma is firing arrows into Krishna, they're like love bites. Lian D 
第二个问题，骷髅之野战下战剩下七人，说法不一，究竟有哪七个人？感恩公务员仁慈。嗯 ，Only seven people left after the battle. Who are they? There are different opinion about this. Well, there's the, I don't know about seven. I never heard that figure before. But anyway, the five Pandavas were there. And then, and then also Sadyaki, and Krishna, and then there's also uh, Kripacharya, and uh, that's the ones I know. There may be more. I have Satyaki, Krishna, Kripacharya, maybe there are other people. Next one, Fan Ge, thank you, Guru. Thank you. Taifa Bojia Fan Ge, the price is not fixed. Some are free to buy, some are low price. Some are low price. Now, the president of Fan Ge is very high. Due to the price of free and low price, it is affecting his book sales. It is affecting his profits. 怎么平衡这种处境呢 ？Because now, uh, there's a mar, um, the distribution of Bhagavad Gita. Some, thank you, Guru. Some distribute Bhagavad Gita. The the price is uh different. Some distribute freely. Some in low price. Some in their or original price. But our group leader, uh, bought Bhagavita in higher price. So my record of the distribution is uh, influenced by this situation. How to balance the situation? Well, I, I don't want to get involved with. Uh the instructions of your group leader, you know, group leaders have all got their own ways of thinking, so I, I don't want to interfere with things, you know, whatever your group leader tells you, just try to do it and, you know, don't be attached, just understand anyway, Krishna's put me in this group and the group leader's saying like this, so I, just do what they say, you know. Uh,我我不想涉及到，就是这里面的事情。这个您的组组长呢，他有自己的想法，我不想干涉。嗯，那您就按照组长说的，您就嗯，但是要不依附，怀着不依附的的心态，嗯，您就想着，无论如何，
那么 ，Hare Krishna 在 Kali 年代呢，显现在 Mayapur， 显现为主 Chaitanya Mahaprabhu 的形象。And Lord Chaitanya is the combined form of Radha and Krishna. 主 Chaitanya 是 Radha 和 Krishna 的嗯合合并体。So Lord Krishna is here in Mayapur as Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, and he's doing the sankirtan, the chanting of the holy name. And there will be another avatar at the end of the Kali Yuga. The other avatar. Is an avatar. It's not Krishna directly, but it's an avatar of Krishna. It's called Kauki, and he comes. He will come to kill all the atheists who are remaining at the end of Kali Yuga. 那么在还有还将有另外一个化身，他并不是直接的主 Krishna 本人，但是他是会在 Kali 年代的末尾。他以 Kaki Kaki 的形象显现，杀死所有那些还在卡里年代末尾还活着的那些无神论者。But Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is the Yuga avatar. 但是 Chaitanya Mahaprabhu 是年代化身。And he comes to establish the the Dharma for this age, which is the Sankirtan movement, the chanting of the holy name. 他前来建立。年代宗教，那就是唱诵三阶段运动，齐诵读的圣名。OK。下一个是，下一个是 Vivati， 有巴提为沙卡，顶拜咕噜有奉献者也是启迪的奉献者，家人不是奉献者，他们做的素食能供奉给 Krishna 吗？家里人还吃肉。Well, you can offer it to Krishna if you, if you like. I don't know if Krishna will accept it, but you can offer it to him with love and devotion. Yeah, you, the, your family is not vegetarian, but they're cooking, so we should offer it. But it's up to Krishna if he will accept it or not. But there's no harm to offer it to Krishna, and you know maybe you're not well enough to cook, so they have to cook for you. So you get them to tell them they're going to cook for Krishna. They have to be clean, make sure they, you know, they're they're very clean and wash their hands and everything, and get them to chant the holy name before they cook. Because it's your home, so you can set the standards in your own home. In the temple, of course, we they couldn't cook, but in your own home, they can do it. In your own home, you have different standard, and so yeah, you can let them cook, and you can offer it to Krishna. 嗯，那那么，嗯，那么您可以供奉，我不知道 Krishna 会不会接受一个。就是您可以怀着奉爱，就因为家人呢，他们还没有遵守这些规范，但是应该也应该供奉。至于接受不接受，这是 Krishna 的事儿了。但是供奉并没有坏处，因为您自己呢做不好，所以呢他们要为呃他们为 Krishna 做饭，那您可以给他们定标准。让他们在做饭之前要洗手，保持清洁，唱诵圣名。嗯，因为这是您的家，所以标准不一样，和庙宇的不一样。在庙宇里是不可以的，但是在家里是可以的，因为有不同的标准。你可以允许他们来做，并且，嗯，供奉了。Yes. Next one. Yes. 嗯，哦。Sugita Sangha, that's it. Said this new party chant for two hours and also read our books. Oh, okay, very good. But still, he's not following the four principles. But if he keeps chanting, then one day he will start to follow the four principles. Either he will stop chanting. 
because he's attached to his sinful activities, or he will keep chanting. If he keeps chanting, then one day he has to follow the four principles. Uh-huh。下一个是天使,明白不如,今天不在半歌前天日,去起的最晚还没念诵,内心很难过。Krishna会一次不高兴吗?今天怎么才能取悦Krishna呢? Although today is Ida Jayanti, but I get up um, very late and also not yet chanting. I feel very sorry. Will Krishna be displeased with me? How can, what should I do to please Lord Krishna? Well, what you should do is start chanting immediately. You go and start chanting and you pray to Krishna, please forgive me, I'm very fallen, I'm, I'll try to improve. Okay. 这样的理解依赖Krishna肯定不对,怎样说服他呢? Somebody thinks that everything is Krishna's arrangement. It's not important what we do ourselves. Mm, simply we uh, depend on Krishna. That is most important. Uh, how can I convince, convince him? Well, you just have to, you know, just keep chanting Hare Krishna and, and just keep glorifying Krishna, do devotional service. Gradually, you know, tell him that's his own thinking, his own speculation. And ask him, what does Krishna say in the Bhagavad Gita? Krishna says, I'm in the heart of everyone. From me comes knowledge, remembrance, and forgetfulness. So Krishna can allow you to forget. You want to forget Krishna, Krishna will allow you. But if you want to remember Krishna, Krishna can help you. So you have to think, do you think, do you think the person who forgets Krishna is the same as the person who remembers Krishna? No. The one who remembers Krishna, he becomes dear to Krishna. Krishna cares more about his devotees. But if you want to forget Krishna, then Krishna will give you the opportunity. Okay, go ahead. Krishna doesn't need you. You need Krishna. Krishna在博家范哥哪里说了这个 但是那些想忘记Krishna的呢,主也给他们机会去忘记他们,那你就去忘记他好,因为主也不需要我们,但是我们反过来是需要主的。OK。下一个是Sumukirada。还有多少问题? Okay. 
Sung Kira da Dasi, Janet Maraj, Gajan, Honey, Nibal, Yakulisha, Oo Yash, Junja Tinku Hongjaman, Wotli Tian Do, Chen Jada, Krishna, Shamaran Do Song Lai, Mia Feda, Fu Yo Feda, Yo Hongmau Kieda, Jesu Pai Shu, Yichi Krishna Do Anta Hala, Yu Yun Kushu, Doi Kui Di Bang, Yan Do Pai, Yi Bei Yang, Yang 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 让社会社会各级都来捐款派派出啊。This is not question by the report from Smoky Rad, um, Malaysia about the question related to the price of the books. I got it. Yeah. Yes. Ah, the next, the final one. Ah, Jinjin, Hari Krishna, Dimbai Jian, the Guru Maharaj, Lian Hua Zhu. 最近念诵很难专注，三点半到四点起床，四点到四点半念诵，七点念完。嗯，也白七七点半。白天有时候也念诵，九点到九点半睡觉，晚上做梦，心意活动厉害。早上起来念诵，不专注，这样持续好几天了，不知道怎么回事，我还这样做，慢慢就会好吗？啊，真真